So guys, I got the Toolkit MAS Smart Charger. This thing is 400 watts, 18 amps. Now this thing can test quite a few things. I think ESCs and servos and all that. I'm gonna concentrate on things that I'm gonna use for my style of hobby. Take a look. This is what you get with it. You get a USB data cable, you get the manual, and you get the actual charger itself. This thing is really small. You know, this is my first uh, charger, first thing from Toolkit. And it's kind of amazing that, you know, 400 watts, uh, you can see my head in the reflection, 400 watts, 18 amps, one to eight S, you know, that's pretty darn awesome. Now it is DC to DC, so you will need a um, power supply. I'm just gonna show you guys using a 6S battery. Um, may not want to try that at home if you're gonna charge something big. So the main things for me is the charger and the internal resistance measurer, the output and settings. I'm gonna mess around with those a little bit as well, but the charger, that's the most important thing. Okay, now notice I've got it at 18 amps. That's the max it can do. Uh, discharge at three amps. I've been told it can do more than that. As long as you have another battery for it to discharge into. Um, yeah. Anyway. That was where you can set different profiles and all that. Here's your charge, discharge, all that. Let's go ahead and try this thing. Let's see. Wow. That's some amps. Wow, that is pretty much 18 amps right into a 4S. All right, now let's check something real quick. You can see I'm charging off of a 6S, so don't try this or, or don't expect this to work for long. We're gonna go ahead and check the amps using this thing. Set that to DC. Wow, no kidding, look at that. That's awesome. You can check your cells right there. You can see how they're balancing up. You can see, let me see, what else can we look at here? 277.6 watts. Let's put in 301 milliamps, 66% charged. That's pretty darn awesome. Wow. But still, you can't really do that for very long charging off of this. You really want a power supply or a good old car battery. So I'm gonna go ahead and stop this because we've seen it do what it's supposed to do. That's awesome. Hey, the fans came on. Never mind. Let the fans work a little bit. Not loud, not annoying. Hmm. Now what would be really awesome if this thing, you could, you could plug it into an outlet. This small being able to charge like this, oh, 18.1 amps, check that out. Wow. So if you're at a racetrack and you charge off a car battery, I know I was supposed to stop this a few seconds ago, but it is what it is. Um, you could really get a fast charge if you're kind of short on batteries. Most racers that I know will actually be, you know, have a battery for every heat already charged, already balanced. But I know some of the, uh, like the 17.5 uh, guys, they like to really heat up a battery quick because you know you can get more discharge with a hot pack. That's what I've tested in the past. You've hopefully seen my lipo tests. So, but anyway. Ooh, high speed fans. Huh, not bad. Solid 18 amps. That's still impressive to me. Of all my other chargers, I got the the uh, Prodigy 610. It won't do 18 amps. No other charger I've ever got can do 18 amps.
the wires are getting a little bit warm too. Maybe this uh, fancy schmancy thing I got stuck on here is barely up to this. Okay, I think we've heard the fans long enough. I think I've got enough charge. Let's go ahead and exit out of this. There we go. I'm guessing the fans are going to keep on working until it brings it back down to temperature. At this point, I'm going to check the internal resistance of that same 4S. Notice I'm still powered by the 6S over here. Let's go ahead and press OK to measure battery. There's your voltages right there. Get that zoomed in a little bit. Now we're going to go ahead and set it up for the uh, internal resistance. And we're going to hit the test. Wow. You know, just got to say, those old Turner G5000 milliamps are pretty darn awesome. Wow. And it's not even warmed up. Man, I should put the ESR meter on it. <laughs> but, you know, there you go. We'll test it again. Yeah, they're changing a little bit. That's cool. You can just retest it over and over. So I guess if you put the uh, battery on a heat pad, you could actually test it per temperature. That's pretty cool. Not bad at all. I like that feature. Let's take a look at the settings real quick. And this looks like uh, pretty self-explanatory actually. All your temperatures, safe time, discharge mode, idle beep every five minutes, S bus, that's for testing some electronics and stuff. Cause this is kind of like a multimeter kind of charger thingy. Hmm. Not bad. While I still have everything hooked up, let's try the discharge. Let's see if it can get three amps. Let's see if they can actually get the three amps. If it does, that'll be pretty impressive. Nothing else I got will go three amps. Uh, looks like about one amp. Huh. That's maybe a little bit better. Now, with it discharging, them fans are going to come on here in a few minutes, but I'll just leave that be. Call it good at the, on that one. Okay, let's go ahead and check out the output feature. Press OK to start. Now, the PWM, PPM, SBUS, that's for testing, you know, servos and stuff like that, which I'm, I doubt I'll ever use this to test that. So, and I'm going to link up some videos. All right, now notice, let uh, me see. 20 volts right there. Let's see here. There we go. We're going to go ahead and click start. 20 volts right there. All right, we're going to end this. Now keep in mind, this is a uh, 6S battery. We just got around 24 volts, right? Let me go ahead and turn this thing on up. See how high it can go. Oh, oh, oh. Hold, on, hold on a second, get back into there. 30 volts. Let's see what we got here. 30 volts. Ha! Huh. So it actually steps the DC volts up. Probably a loss in amps when doing that, but uh, still, that's pretty impressive. So basically, if you needed this running off of a car battery, a specific voltage to charge whatever you got going on i'm not really sure i guess you could actually use it as a dc to dc power supply so guys i'm actually impressed with this thing we got to see it put out a real 18 amps into a 4s battery off of a 6s so like i said you don't want to do that for very long off a car battery sure you can kill that car battery all you want 
So uh, if you're gonna run this off of electric, you'll need a really good power supply. So yeah, it also has a five volt 2.1 amp uh, USB output, so you can charge your cell phone and stuff like that while you're doing other things. Now, like I said, this can test uh, servos and stuff like that. I really don't see myself using this to test those. Now, there are videos showing this, and I've linked those in the description also on how you can get this from Banggood. Now, uh, this is really neat, and I think I may actually put this to use out in the field. You know, like I mentioned, uh, some of the 17.5 racers, they like to really hit their, uh, their batteries and really get them hot before they hit the track because you heat up a LiPo, you get more amp output. The internal resistance goes down and you get more power. You know, uh, the battery doesn't push the power, but if the motor can draw it, it'll be there and you get more power to the ground. Now, these were provided by Hobby Porter. This right here, I've also got the Toolkit RC 8 channel servo tester, and I've got the watt meter as well. So those videos are coming up. But anyway, uh, yeah, this is a pretty neat little dude right here. I don't really have any complaints other than if they could somehow figure a way to give me a, out, a power cord right into something this small to give this kind of an output, that would be amazing. But you know, I think I will put this thing to use out in the field. So guys, check that description for all the links and stuff that I previously mentioned. And thank you all for watching.